humanity. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. Go to the front desk and ask the worker to see the holder of humanity. They will either laugh or cry. If laughter, the worker is a false one and thy doom is at hand. If tears, repeat the question. The lights will go out and you will be enshrouded in darkness. Pray they return. If they do, you will find yourself in front of a large mirror. Observe yourself in front of the mirror. At first it will seem normal, but as you look closer, the mirror will show eyes glowing from the darkness peering at you from behind. Do not look away from the mirror, or they will surely devour your soul. The mirror will continue to show you scenes of terror, of joy, of sorrow happening behind you. Remain steadfast and continue looking at the mirror. Finally, the image of you will begin to distort. Your face will melt and reform. Your eyes will burst and hordes of cockroaches and spiders will erupt forth from your sockets. Rats will claw out of your chest and blood will spew from your ears. These horrors will continue to occur to your mirror image, but you must remain strong, for to grow fearful now will make these terrible things only the beginning. When your image mouths, let me die, shatter the glass and walk through the door behind. Inside the room will be a man in a hooded robe behind a table. Ask, why have they forsaken us? If he decides to acknowledge your presence, he will lay some gloves on the table and describe the story of a man, of his purest love, of a terrible betrayal, of the corruption of his soul, and of the unspeakable acts which he has committed. This story will stir up too many emotions inside of you and cause you to lose consciousness. When you come to, you will be home. Next to you will be the person closest to your heart, strangled to death, with a look of shock and confusion on their face. On your hands are the gloves. Those gloves are object 503 or 538. There is no chance at redemption.